Okay, so today we have this Lawn Boy, and a lot of you will remember this from a video a few years ago where I already took it apart and we cleaned the carburetor. Uh, but what I found the other day is that there was some gas leaking from the bulb. There's some gas leaking under here. It was very slow, it wasn't very visible from the bottom, it was just kind of trickling very slowly and it took me a while to figure out where it was coming from so what I've done is I put a shut off this didn't have a shut off valve I think they're handy for you know at the end of the year if you want to run the gas out or even servicing the carburetor this did not have one so what we're going to do is add one and we also have some some new uh, fuel line here which came with some clamps and I'll put the part numbers up on the screen for you. But this two pack was under six dollars for two of these shutoffs. And I just put one here temporarily while I work on this. But I did notice on the bottom where it comes out of the tank. I know it's probably hard to see under there, but it's got some cracks in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace this line, add a, add the filter in there, and then we'll go from here into the carburetor. But first what we're going to have to do is remake a gasket. Now I do have this gasket and I could just order it. But I have some uh, gasket making material here. This is cork rubber sheet gasket. And it's going to be a little difficult to replicate. This is a rubber gasket. This is a lot different than, than the cork. But the cork will work if I can cut it perfect enough to fit around this ring and seal it properly. It might even do a better job. It might even last longer. So I like the challenge of working with what I have instead of going out and buying new stuff. Uh, it's only a rubber gasket. I think we can do it. What I have here is a hole saw which happens to fit perfectly inside of this uh, bowl. So I'll use that to cut the inner diameter and then I'm just going to trace I'm just going to trace this on here and we'll see what happens. I mean if you, if you fail I have a whole roll I can try it again. Not a big deal. And if it does leak I can shut this valve off. Uh, but uh, let's get started with removing this carburetor here. I've already started removing this part, the top part here. Real easy, there's just the three 10 millimeter uh, nuts on the top and I just had to undo the cap to slip this top cover off. Um, so that's that, we're going to go over, we're just going to remove this mechanism here. There's two bolts, two nuts on the other side of here and then we should be able to slide this carburetor out. I've already unhooked the linkages here and then we should just be able to slide this out and see what we're dealing with on the bottom and see if we can't make a gasket for it. Alright, so I'm just going to take the one nut off of here. This mechanism here mounts to the muffler and uh, as I explained on my other video, this heats up and eventually turns and opens up this choke here. But we're going to remove this. This is the Lawn Boy 20 inch deck. So we're going to remove this. I know there's a, another one down here. It's going to be a little difficult to get to. I'll have to remove the spark plug. Not too bad. We can clean that up. Alright, we're going to work on this bottom 
bottom bolt here and I've got this smaller 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter on the small ratchet. There's just enough room in there with the spark plug gone. We can get it in there. our other 10 millimeter right here. So I'm going to bring you around to this side so we can work on getting this uh, carburetor off here. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I'm tempted to just leave this mechanism right on here. Just slide the whole thing off. what I'm doing I don't think I'm going to need to remove this I think I can do this with this on here just to avoid having to put this little linkage back on here it's kind of a pain if I were cleaning this which I don't have to I would definitely remove this piece but we'll see if we can work with it all right we have the carburetor off now we're going to attempt to make a gasket for here. Now, here's what we're working with. We have some part number 3018 cork rubber sheet from Felpro. You can see it's a nice sheet, so if you have, you know, multiple mowers or even for your car, good to make your own gasket sometimes. This one's a little more difficult because it is the bowl gasket and it's very thin. But I think if it's a little bit thicker I don't think it's going to be an issue. It might give it a better seal. We're going to test it though and we're going to find out. We'll get to the fuel line a little bit later. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my razor knife. I'm going to place the bowl on here. Use my razor knife and cut around it until I have a perfectly round circle. Alright, so let's get this gasket material here and start cutting this our circle out here. I'm just going to hold it down tight, tight as I can take the razor knife and just cut right around the lip on the outside of this bowl. Just taking my time. But now we're left with a perfect circle. But of course that's not going to work because we need to cut the center of the circle out. And that's where I came up with my hole saw here. And this is kind of a cool hole saw because it lets you put different size pieces into it. And I found one that fits inside the bowl perfectly. You can see how the bowl fits right over that hole saw. So if I do this correctly against this wood I should be able to cut a perfect circle or at least close to a perfect circle 
out of the center of this cork. And then if we're lucky, it will fit into this groove, the groove in the, on the carburetor where the bowl goes in. So we're going to line this up close to the center as we can and we're going to drill it into this wood and see what we come up with. Now there's many different things of course that you could do in this situation. I could take an X-Acto knife and trim it out. That'd probably be a good idea but I'm going to try this for the heck of it. I have tons of this cork sheet. Not a big deal if it doesn't work the first time. But let's get started. I'm going to pick a center of this, as center as I can get it, and we'll see if this works. So rather than drilling into my table, I'm going to lean this over off over the side of the table and do it here. I'm just going to Drill it in there. I gotta tighten my drill up here. So there's what we end up with. Okay, so I've trimmed it up. We're going to place it here and see. That's that's a perfect fit right there. You can see how it fits in there perfectly. A little thicker than obviously the thinner rubber gasket would be, but this might be better. As long as it has a good seal. It looks like it has a good seal here. I mean that fits in there perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and I did put a little piece of cork around this uh, bolt that goes on the bottom of the bowl. And I just want to position, I just want to get this bowl fitted in there. Yeah, that's an excellent fit. But I want to make sure I have my this bolt here facing outward. And I'm going to want to have this this way. Then I'll go ahead and put my float bowl bolt in there. It's a 10 millimeter, so we're going to tighten that up. I don't want to go too tight on it, just want it to be snug. So that's that. So now what we're going to do is mount this back on to the lawnmower, and we're going to get started on the fuel line. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right. We're going to slip our carburetor back on here. make sure that's functioning properly. I'm going to go ahead and put the top nut on this mechanism here on the muffler first. 10 millimeter.
Alright, so we got that gasket. That looks good. Uh, although this wasn't the source of our problem, as I was taking this apart, I noticed the gas line has some cracks in it. And uh, I think that's going to be handy because this didn't come with one to be able to turn this fuel off. Either for, like, as I said, servicing the carb or running it out of gas after you're done using it, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to remove these posts here that hold the top cover on. There are these spacers that go on top when you put the plastic cover on. A lot of times they like to fall out when you take the cover off. But I'm going to take a 10 millimeter and this is a deep socket. I'm going to remove these posts. That's what's holding the gas tank on. And There isn't much gas in here so I should be able to tip it so the gas is on one side of the tank and quickly be able to cut a piece of line here. But I think what I'm going to do is because you have the air cleaner that goes here you're not going to be able to get to the shutoff here. So I think I'm going to put the shutoff back here. That way I can turn the gas off and on here as it's coming out. So I'm going to have to cut a small piece of hose, have my shutoff valve here, and then another piece of hose continuing to the carburetor. Okay, now that we have these two from the top done, there's one more on the bottom, 10 millimeter, that's holding this tank on. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. And this is right at the bottom below the tank, it's hooked up to the engine on the bottom there. So we have our gas tank removed. And I'm just going to go ahead and tip it up like this. And we're going to cut a new piece of line here. Alright, now that we have the tank disconnected. Turning it off to the side. So all the gas, is, this is not a full tank. You know, if you had a full tank, you might have to, at this point, empty it out first. But I'm going to go ahead and I've got my needle nose pliers. I'm going to disconnect this part of the hose here. going to move it down for now. And this runs through to this shutoff here. I do have a can just in case there's some residual fuel in there. And then we're going to cut a piece of our fuel line. I think I'm going to come out with a short piece here then we'll go with the shutoff and then continue on as I said to the carburetor. So let me go ahead and disconnect this. We're going to have to cut it. I'm going to go right in the can with it. I'm going to pull it out. get the clamp off of it. Now there are two of these, there's two guides here that the hose feeds through. Two loops. So we're going to just pull it through there. 
and there's our line. So I'm just going to remove this now. Because we're going to use this, obviously. So tell me in the comments, do you guys, uh, you have a lawn boy, how it's worked for you. So I did that other video and it was pretty popular. People liked, uh, liked the video, so I'm glad you, you guys enjoyed that. I enjoy working on these things, you know. So here's the shut off. We're going to use that. And we're going to need this other clamp from this side. So there we have it. There's our old hose. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bunch of uh, cracks in it here. So it was only a matter of time when that would start leaking. So where was I? I've got to slip this on here. Let's get this hose on this tank. Alright, I wasn't happy with the way that clamp fits on this, so I'm going to use one of the provided ones. These are just a little bit too small, but I'm going to use this type. But you do notice there is a filter. This is actually a filter that goes into the tank. So if you see that, you know what it is. So it's an inline filter that just slips right into the tank here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, clamp on, feed it back in here. go ahead and lock this down here. Don't want to go too tight on this because it's, it is plastic. It's not like you're tightening it onto a brass or aluminum metal nipple there. That's plastic so you just need it a little bit snug there. That's good enough. That's all a clamp like this would do anyway. So I'm gonna I don't want to tip this over yet because gas will start flowing. I don't have it clamped off or anything, but I'm just going to kind of eye it up. I think I'm going to cut it probably about here. That way I can put my shutoff valve there. So I'm going to go ahead and get something to cut this with. shut off here. We're going to need another clamp. Go ahead and put our shut off on there. Tighten it up. But not too tight. Again, we're still working with plastic, so I don't want to break it. Okay, that should take care of that. Now we should be able to tip the tank and kind of uh, mount it back up since I do have the shut off on here. We can check for any leaks. I think that's going to work out nice there. We'll get them started here. Go ahead and tighten them down with my uh, deep socket. And once I'm done with this, mounting this up, we'll continue with uh, running the final piece of line right to the carburetor. And then we can put everything back together. All right, let's continue on here. I'm going to start at the carburetor and feed it through so we can get back to the valve. Now tell me, do you guys like these?
types of clamps or do you like the, the just the quick release pressure type ones? In this case, the hose is a little bit thicker than the factory hose, so I got to use these bigger ones, but it's not a big deal. This one I can I don't have to worry about cracking. I don't want to over tighten it, but when I do tighten it, it's not like the plastic where I got to be concerned about crushing it. That seems tight enough. So I'm just going to kind of eye this up here. I figure I can cut it right about here. Now I do have to run it through. There's two loops here. Do have to run it through there first. Now we can go into our clamp. So I'm going to add another clamp here. Okay, so there's our setup here. I couldn't make this piece too long because then it would bend. There'd be a kink in it. I had to make a short run here. It's probably about two inches. Then I did my shut off and then I continued on to the carburetor here. So it's accessible here. It's not going to get in the way of the air box here. So all I have to do now is we're going to hook up these linkages. We're going to hook them back up to the carburetor up here and we can reassemble it and see if this thing's going to work and it's not going to leak here. Okay, in terms of the linkage here, I'm just going to turn this carburetor choke to the left. That should give me enough to pop that in there that goes to the governor and then we have this spring here and there's a little hole in that same mechanism there and we're just going to clip it in there so that's it we have the governor arm hooked up This is functioning properly, the choke mechanism. I think I'm going to turn this fuel on, let the gas get into the bowl here and see if we have any issues before we put this uh, air box back on. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour. I don't see any leaks anywhere. We are going to mow with it and I'll check it after I mow, but I think it's going to be okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put this air cleaner back on. There is a gasket, remembering how it went on there. And this would be the kind of gasket you would make with this gasket maker as well, if you needed to. But this one looks like it's in good shape, so we're going to leave it alone. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in this hose right here goes into the engine. And we're going to line up these two screws here. And these are 10 millimeter. So I'm going to put my 10 millimeter bolts on there. And there is one additional bolt that goes into here. You don't have to be like Hercules on these against the plastic, but you do want a good seal against that uh, gasket. I think 
that's good enough. So we have our air box on there. We're going to go ahead and put our filter. Put our filter back on. Alright, so let's finish the job here. We want to make sure we have these spacers, you know, the ones that fall out when you take this top cover off in place. Everything's all set here. We're going to have to take the gas cap off just so we can fit this over. We get it into place. And we put this on top just like that and we put our plastic cover on top of that. Now all we do is take our 10 millimeter bolts, nuts, the nuts, put them in there, we put our gas cap back on, tighten these up, Easy peasy, right? You can do it yourself. So that's about it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it helped you out, gave you some ideas. You know, maybe you have some stuff laying around. This you can get at the auto parts store. You know, they have different materials. They have a felt type material. This is a cork rubber sheet. Um, but I'm going to go out and mow the grass and, uh, and I'll check it for leaks afterwards. But I appreciate you watching. You know, like and subscribe. I could use the support on the channel. If you enjoyed the video, like it. And uh, we'll see you next time something's broken.